All right, workout Wednesday right now, and we just covered the five core conversations that couples should have. Now it's time to strengthen your core with your significant other. Joining us with a couple's workout before you head to your Valentine's Day feast is Michaela Brown, owner of My Fitness. And of Hi. course, we have Beverly and Kirk here, our lovely married couple um, that are going to be working out together. Sure are. Um, so, you know, Michaela, the one thing I noticed right away is that Beverly is in some amazing heels. Look at those heels. And you say there's a reason for this. Yeah, there's two reasons. First of all, it's Valentine's Day, so part of, you know, this being a fun workout is for you to dress up and make it an event. So sometimes nice. that's just as simple as putting on some high heels. Sometimes it's a full-on ensemble, you know, really just getting dressed up. Also, with her being up on her tiptoes, she's really engaging her posterior chain. So when okay. we do those squats, she's going to feel it uh, like a lot more intensely in her glutes so and in her So there's a benefit hamstrings. to wearing yeah. heels when Fit you and work fun. out. Fit okay. and fun, yes. Fit and fun. So let's um, talk about some of what, what they're going to do. Sure. We're going to do some integrative exercises that are also fun. So I'm going to have you guys set up in a crunch. Go ahead and set up on the crunch. And we're going to sip and crunch. It sounds Ooh, like a sip and pee. Okay. Right? Now, because uh, I noticed you have water in here. So Is this, that what you recommend? Well, I don't have recommendations <laughs> for Valentine's Day. So we're going to use water because this is a family show, but you could use champagne or wine or any beverage of your choice. So we're going to have Kurt actually stay uh, seated upright. All right, he's going to be a gentleman and hold this drink for his wife. Beverly's going to come up, do a crunch, grab that drink, take a sip while Kurt goes down. She's oh. going to then hold the drink for her husband. Come on up, and they're going to they're going to go back and forth doing crunches. And you got to do it fast sipping. because if oh, not, wait. he's going to drink it so all. So there we go. Let's see that. <laughs> awesome. So this go. is just one. Now you could replace the drink with Hershey's Kisses oh. or chocolate covered strawberries. You could get really creative with it. But okay. the the goal is really to do something. Um, United in a joint fitness and fun. It's teamwork. It's teamwork, yes. Mm -hmm. Yep, so that's the crunch and sip. All right, we so all, what's next? Yeah, we also have high heel squat and watch. So Beverly's gonna uh, get up in her high heels. Kirk is gonna stand right behind him, her and gonna get into a stationary squat, Kirk. Meanwhile, he's gonna watch Beverly do some high heel squats. Like right behind, yeah, you can watch. <laughs> yeah, he's like avoiding her. <laughs> so you wanna make this interactive. You could also turn around and face him, Beverly, and maintain the eye contact there. And again, just making it very communal. Look at those squats. Aren't those squats that's great? great. <laughs> so that's your high heel squat and watch. We next have a bridge with toe touches. So you guys are gonna lay down facing each other. Yep. You're gonna extend your right leg and toe touch or like kind of play. The other leg is going to be planted and they're gonna raise their hips up and down while maintaining toe connection, okay? So raise, yes, Bev, good. Kurt's there. So again, these are basic physical exercises, but they have this partner or this communal touch to it, okay? okay. And then we also have kissing push-ups, which are my favorites. So Bev has volunteered to lay down and Kurt has volunteered to do the push-ups. <laughs> so she's gonna lay down. She's gonna raise her hips in a bridge. He's gonna set up his push-up right on top of her. And every time he goes down, he's gonna land a kiss on her forehead. Aww. So yeah, so these are fun. Very Bri sweet. Beverly could also move up and down as he's doing that. And again, simple bridge, simple push up, but it's made a little bit more sultry and interactive because they're doing it together and meeting in the center. Nice, and I noticed you have some cards over here and a bell, yeah, what are those for? Yeah, so again, just making it interactive. Good job, you guys, by the way. So miss, just making it interactive. If you have a personal trainer here, every time I ring a bell, that's when the squat could happen. Oh, every time I ring okay. a bell, that's when the push up could happen. Also, if you don't have a trainer or a third party, um, what I like to do is actually just randomly select a card. And if it was a two, that's how many squats she would do. If Not I, bad. You got the two. <laughs> got the two. <laughs> if I did a king, he would have to do 13. Wait, so how many are aces? I mean, there's only one ace of oh, oh, hearts in okay. the deck, so we stick with the hearts. Okay, so is it just one squad, or is it like a lot I would more? go, what, 13? What's the ace? It depends okay. on what card game. Okay, <laughs> sounds you good. You have to figure that out beforehand. And where can people go to get more information? Sure, you can follow me on Instagram or Facebook, at MyFitSpot, that's M-I-F-I-T Spot. Awesome. All the information is there. Thank you, Michaela, thank you. Kirk, Beverly, thank you guys so job, much. Guys. And you worked up the sweat there.